Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of my pickups for the month of June, so stick around. So I had a lot of pickups during the month of June, a lot of great titles. Um, we did have some slow weeks, which was nice um, to, to be able to catch my breath and to not have to purchase as much as I usually do. But I still got quite a bit of titles that came in, um, a lot of pre-orders from previous um, um, pre-order releases. So I thought I'd go ahead and just get started with what I got. Um, let's get started with what I got from Zavi UK. I did get um, Raya and the Last Dragon. The Xavier Exclusive still book, which is the exact same still book as what we got from Best Buy. Um, I did get the X-Men still book with a lenticular card. And X-Men 2. And Deadpool. And Basic Instinct. So those are the ones I got from Zavi UK. I have done unboxings of those. If you'd like to check out the channel um, to watch those, please um, please do so. Also from Canada, I did a um, video showing these nice Raven Banner exclusive um, slipcover editions. So I won't go through every title of these, but definitely check out that video if you'd like to see what these um, nice looking slipcovers look like. Okay, some other um, releases I got from Eureka. I got The Fate of Lee Khan. PTU. The Hands of Warlock. Time and Tide. Nice looking slip. One armed, um, one armed boxer. Spooky Kind, Encounter of the Spooky Kind, One Cut of the Dead, the Hollywood Edition. So there is a sequel, if you're not aware, which I was unaware of, um, but there is a One Cut of the Dead in Hollywood. So if you want to get that, I got this one from, from the UK. It's from Arrow Releasing, I got Over the Edge. And Django 4K edition, which I'm very happy to have that in the collection. From Indicator, I got Eye of the Cat, Irreversible, Columbia Noir number three, and Hammer volume six. So, very nice to have these in the collection. Okay, some regular releases. I did get Space Jam. This is the Warner Brothers Iconic Moments with a slipcover. Um, this is the only new one that I needed to get. So I picked that one up from Walmart. I got Batman, The Long Halloween Part 1. Definitely looking forward to watching this one and getting Part 2. I got Siberia. Really nice looking um, slipcover on this one. The Unholy. Boogie. Heard a lot of great things about this one, so I added that one to the collection. God Bless America. I watched this one. Um, it was okay. I was really expecting more from it, but I did enjoy it and very happy to have that one in the collection. I got um, Godzilla vs. Kong with the 3D version. I just kind of threw it in a regular slip. But I wanted to have the 3D version of that, so I got that one during the Amazon um, Prime Days. I don't even know if it was on sale, but that's when I purchased it. And then from Walmart, I got the Dragonheart 5 movie collection with this nice looking slipcover. I've heard great things about the first one, uh, but you know I wanted to go ahead and have this collection, especially with the slip. So I picked it up. Also, I got the Umbrella Academy on Blu-ray on the complete first season. There are no special features on this one, which is unfortunate. But I do um, enjoy the Umbrella Academy, so I'm very happy to have this one. I really hope that they do Season 2 and continue doing those. Some other TV shows that I got, I got The Walking Dead, World Beyond Season 1. I'm looking forward to finishing that one up. I got um, Primal, the complete first season. I heard nothing but great things about this one, so I'm looking forward to checking that one out. The Undoing. 
And another Prime Day purchase was Boardwalk Empire. This is one of the season, um, one of the series I did not have in the collection, and it's really a very nice looking heavy box set. So I went ahead and added that one to the collection. Okay, next up, I got from um, the Warner Archive collection. I got Thundar the Barbarian, the complete series. Happy to have this one added. From Kino Lorber, I got the Hot Spot with the slipcover. I've heard great things about this one. I got The Burning Bed with Fair Fawcett. Great, great film. Highly recommend this one. And then I got Elvis Presley and Clam Bake. I'm not very familiar with this one, but I always like to add any kind of Elvis Presley film to the collection. And I got The Hotel New Hampshire. And then from Shout Factory, Scream Factory, I got Battle Beyond the Stars, the still book. I got Stardust. I got Human Nature. This right here is a Shout Select edition. Hunter Hunter. And then I got Kindred. The Unhealer. And Embattled. So those are from Shop Factory, Scream Factory. Some other releases I got from the Disney Movie Club. I did get the Captain America 3 movie collection. I don't know why I did that. Um, it came with a slip cover, but all the other ones don't come with slips. So I'm not sure if I'll just sell this one on eBay or whatever. Um, I got anything for Jackson. Still want to see this one. Really nice looking slip cover. From Paramount Presents, I got Mommy Dearest. Still need to check this one out. I've always heard great things about this one. I got John Hughes, the five movie collection. Um, I only bought this one because the only film I do not have is She's Having a Baby. Me and my wife enjoy that movie a lot. Um, we're very fond of it, so I went ahead and just bought this collection so that I would have all these films together. I got the Railway Children. I had to buy something from, so this is a Kino Lorber um, release. I had to buy something with my Target order to be able to do the buy, buy to get one free sale. They wouldn't ship without a $35 order and I needed something. And so I added that one to it. From eBay, I got Everybody Knows. I've been wanting to see this one for a long time. I've heard great things about this one, so I added that one to the collection. I got City of Lies. Flashback. I got The Marksman. These are all from the buy two, get one free sale from Target. The Courier. I got Rat Race. And I got In and Out. Okay, some really nice 4K releases that I got this month. I got In the Line of Fire with Clint Eastwood. Great film. Very happy to have that one on 4K. Of course, I got Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Beautiful slipcover on this one. Really wish we would have got some kind of steelbook for that. I got Sicario 4K. I got this one off of eBay. I needed this one in the collection. Voyagers. Got a really good price from Walmart. Um, this was around, I think, $22. I got the um, this collection here with Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End. I do have all of these individually on 4K, but I really like the slipcover on this one, so I got the this release. Um, I got News of the World, finally on 4K. Waited for that one to go on sale. And a really big release this month is the Indiana Jones 4 movie collection. I got the regular 4K release of this flimsy box. And I got the Tomb Raider 2 movie collection. Too bad this one didn't come with a slip. Some of the still books that I got, I got the only at Target exclusive Sicario, which I've done an unboxing of if you'd like to check that one out. Pretty in Pink. Some Kind of Wonderful. Really enjoyed this film. This is another one of my wife's and I's um, favorite. So very happy to have that one on Steelbook. A beautiful Steelbook for Sicario from Best Buy. Very embossed. 
Um, so I did an unboxing of I've done an unboxing of all these steel books. We have Godzilla vs. Kong 4K Backdraft. And lastly, the Indiana Jones for movie collection. So I did an unboxing of this. And I can't remember exactly what the circumstance was. Something was wrong with one of them, so I repurchased this. That's the reason why this one sealed up. But I ended up selling the other one on eBay. Somebody didn't, I know what it was. It was the box was all messed up. A lot of people got bad boxes on this. And um, one of the still books actually had a scratch on the back, if I can remember correctly. But somebody on eBay could care less about that stuff, so they bought it. Which I'm very happy that they did. But those are my pickups for the month of June. Hopefully you were able to get all the items that you wanted in June. Um, lots of great items. Like I said, it was a slower month. If it wouldn't have been for the Prime Day deals and for the Target buy two get one free deal and for the Indiana Jones, I think this would have been a pretty easy light month. But always there's something that comes up. But I am very happy to have these in my collection. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know which of these that you added to your collection. And let me know what you think about my pickups. Because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.